Okay, this is just going to be about setting up the bumblebee um, nest house, whatever you call it thing. Um, the bumblebees are beginning to fly around looking for something to uh, make their new home. So I hope to get this set up and uh, put out the field out at the back. Um, it's made by the same fellow who produces the solitary bee nest, the one with the observation panels uh, in the side. Um, and it is just basically a, a wooden box inside. It's got a newspaper as a start. Then next goes in some, some straw. And again, this got some straw going in there. Um, then we get to the special stuff. First up is this stuff. This is what's called K-Pok. And apparently uh, it's used in pillows, all sorts of things, because it is extremely soft and very fine. And uh, I understand also it comes from the seed of some palm tree or something, or some uh, nut or something like that. But it's very, very soft, extremely soft. You just tease it out. Uh, you'll need, but put a bit more in there, maybe for it, maybe for it, and so that's it, that's that, that's in there, yeah, that's good, that's good. Now the final thing, the magic ingredient, uh, these uh, things are trying to mimic uh, what a bumblebee, that's my chickens in the background, if you can hear them, it's got a real attitude problem. Uh, but yeah, the, the, what we're trying to recreate is something for her uh, that uh, is what she'd do naturally. And uh, if you look around in fields, with them, you'll often find holes in the ground, which is where the bumblebees will be uh, starting to uh, build their nests. And um, quite often these holes are uh, deserted mouse holes. So to attract the bees in there, you have this stuff. Castle. And it is mouse scented with some Dior perfume, the essence of a mouse, no doubt. Um, and you just put some of this in. It's just a bit of the K-pop, I think, and it's been, has a scent of a, a mouse in it, apparently. So you put that in there to try and attract her in. whiff of mouse. So, there we are. That's what uh, we're trying to get her into. Uh, you probably can't see at the bottom there, there's a little bit of tubing which comes out through here, which is the entrance, obviously. So, uh, I'll try to try keep it a little bit clear so she can get in. Uh, next thing is the roof for it, which is this thing with perspex. Apparently bees can't, well, bees can't see red so you can leave this on here and then observe them through the top without spooking <coughs> and the roof for it is around here somewhere I can't find it but anyway what we'll do is we'll stop this now and then I'm going to uh, put it out in the field out the back and you can see how we're going to set that up <coughs> And uh, it's also thought he ought to try and attract them in. 
and uh, tried to make them uh, see perhaps a larger entrance than is actually there. So what I've done is just made, or well, painted a little bit of wood yellow and then just to give it a bit of contrast black so it makes like the hole is bigger than it actually is. So I'll go in there, but they need a little bit of pipe, so I've made a bit of uh, a bit of plastic tubing here, a bit of tape around it just to keep it tight. That'll go in there. That'll go at the entrance, and they will work their way in. Just as a sort of final uh, step with it all, uh, for no particular reason, um, I'm just going to cover it up with leaves and things to sort of camouflage it. Anything on but um, yeah, I'll put some leaves around it. I'll put some more around Ouch. later on. So we shall see how things get on. Um, since several will be flying around in the last few days, and there was one in the garden just as I went down just now. So hopefully we'll get something in there, and uh, we'll see you later.